Welcome back into DSI. A little bit of news to get to. A picture from Virginia Governor Ralph Northam's past is now the reason many are calling for his resignation. This is a photo now being widely shared and it was uncovered earlier today. It's from Governor Northam's Eastern Virginia Medical School yearbook and this is his page that was put together back in 1984. It shows two people, one in blackface and another in a Ku Klux Klan robe. The governor has admitted he was in the photo, but he hasn't said which costume he was wearing. Speaking from his office tonight, the governor apologized, saying that, quote, the behavior was not in keeping with his values. That photo and the racist and offensive attitudes it represents does not reflect that person I am today or the way that I have conducted myself as a soldier, a doctor, and a public servant. I am deeply sorry. Since the photo was released to NAACP, the state's Republican Party and some national Democrats, such as presidential hopeful Kamala Harris, have all called for the governor's resignation. The governor said in his statement issued tonight that he is committed to, quote, living up to the expectations Virginians set for him when they elected him to be their governor. Of course, another top story that we are following tonight is that winter weather, and although the flakes are done falling, the roads on Delmarva will be treacherous, and they still are in many spots. We spoke with the Talbot County Sheriff's Office, who say their lines have been ringing nonstop today to respond to accidents and vehicles and ditches. This was a scene familiar across many spots in Delmarva, as the snow and slush made for icy conditions. Tonight, we're expecting the temperatures in the teens in some spots, so anything wet is likely to freeze. Stay at home tonight. If you don't have to be out, it, it should be a really important thing that you're out for if you're out on these roads. They're ice covered. Um, you know, the crews are doing a, a decent job, but it's just so cold that it, it's just going to get worse. Now, as you heard, officials are urging people to use caution on the roadways tonight. But the real question is, when will this ice melt and when will we see more sunshine? The man with those answers, Chief Meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Well, Julian, I wanted to play a time lapse for everybody uh, from earlier today. This is a beautiful snow, big flakes falling in Milford. The Palace Sky Cam here showing just that. And we were having a lot of fun looking at our Sky Cams today. And you can access those on our website, 47abc.com. But Julian asked a question. It's an important one, and we have the answer. The sunshine is coming back as we head into tomorrow, and it's going to warm up too. More on that coming up, but here's a look at some snowfall totals. Uh, three inches in Lewis and Rehoboth today, 2.2 in East New Market, Preston and Milton, almost two inches. Delmar reporting about an inch of snow. Some pictures uh, sent into the Weather Center as well. Harrington, Delaware, Bruni took that picture. A snow covered parking lot for Joe and Milford and Trap, Maryland. Amy took this very snowy picture of the roadway just covered in snow. Now weather watchers calling in tonight as well. Tom and Bridgeville, the cold spot 15 22 for Ted and Millsboro 20 for Lane and Hebron 24 for Ed and Chicoteague and 26 for George and Paula and Bloxham. Temperatures elsewhere in the teens and 20s, so you're going to have to bundle up tonight and please take it easy. If you have to be on the roadways, you heard the tip uh, earlier today. Drive slowly, take some time, especially if you have to be out early tomorrow. It's 20 in Salisbury right now, but it feels like 11. The winds are starting to calm down, and we're expecting that as we head through tonight, and that will allow temperatures to really drop. Here's a look back at all that snow across Delmarva today. It's now pushing east away from the region. So as we head into tonight, 16 to 21, very cold. Now, when the winds calm down, I would not be surprised if some spots drop below 16, maybe even as cold as 10, especially if you have over two inches of snow that will really help drop the temperatures. Mostly sunny tomorrow in the low 40s, and that will help melt the snow. And as we head through the weekend, we're looking at sunshine. Next week, we're looking at a mix of clouds and sun and warmer temperatures, 63 by Tuesday, Julian. At 63, I'll take that. That's what my eyes are set on. And that cold will hopefully be gone soon enough. All right, that does it for the news portion of DSI. But after the break, we'll tell you about a professional star from right here in Salisbury. A must-see story next in sports. My name is Gage Copes. I'm from Milford High School, and this is Delmarva Sports Insider.